the hair. Um, <laughs> take take me to you the. Like uh, I liked it a lot. I mean, you look like so much younger. I know. Um, but take me to that uh, August uh, 2019 haircut. Um, you oh, uh, just you just come home, and Brittany sees you. Yeah, I only got a haircut uh, down the road from where we lived, and I came home, and and Brittany looks at the back of my head. She says, "What did they do to you?" I'm like. What do you mean what they do to me? It's just the, the back of your head, they like completely like killed your haircut. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So he shows me a picture of the back of my head and it's like, there's just spots everywhere. So Brittany gets pissed. <laughs> Brittany goes to the place to get the haircut and is like, demands like our money back. And like, I'm like, Brittany, no, we're not going out. She's like, no, we're going. I had never seen somebody with like spots all over. And so I thought, this lady screwed up his hair. Like what in the world? So again, I, I'm loud and I talk a lot and I went there and it was not nice and I was not friendly. What, what did you part, say? I just, I just told her, you messed up my husband's hair. Like, what did you do? Like, what is like, what, are, how are you even here? What did you do? It was, it was not a shining moment in my life. Fast forward a little bit. I realized I have alopecia. Uh, we went back there and said we're sorry and gave a very generous tip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Good for you for going back, though. Oh, like, yeah, we had to. Okay. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, I have uh, auto autoimmune disorder. But you start Googling at, at the yeah, time. Yeah, Google, what, what do I got? Well, my wife's the, the professional WebMD Googler. I mean, you go on Google and you get a nosebleed and I'm telling you, you've got cancer. You've got something wrong with you. And so that's me. It's, it's, there's always, some, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's something wrong. What are we going to do? Because after a couple of weeks, the spots were still they're there. They're still there. Yeah. Like they're not growing back yeah. at all. They're just bald spot. Eventually you, you just accept what it is. You're like, okay, I have alopecia. Like it could be, could be a lot worse. Right. Um, right. And, it, and it's just in spots and it's not like, I mean, other people have it to where they lose their eyebrows and they lose every, like everything on them. Um, and so I was like, well, I, that's what I got, but you know, is, is what it is. It has been kind of eye opening to, to just learn about it. And so it's basically, it's just an autoimmune disease and they, you have flare ups. And so stress can bring on flare ups. He still had some of the spots. And so hair club came in and and he's been working with them and they've been great and kind of helped him bring his confidence up what uh, made you decide to uh, do something about it i wanted to you know do something that to kind of stay stay young looking right I'm, i was losing my hair and, and you, know, you can do a lot of different things and we formed a relationship with hair club and they had a great option for me and i make fun of them i you know i pick on them you know i, I keep busting his ass a little bit you know i like to do that what, you know, what do you say oh. Bob's got the old hair. What, what do you got? Oh, you're going to try to be like the old man, I keep saying. Yeah, so, but it, it, it's funny. I like it, though. I'm I'm proud that he did it and stepped up to the plate. The first time you saw him after, you know, he had the work done, what did you think? He says it's not the reaction he was hoping for. I was, I thought it looked great. I was just shocked. And I'm really honest. So it's just finding, like, the, the right thing thing for him and making sure like the haircut's right and this and that and so just kind of tweaking it a little bit he looks great your takeaway from the whole experience is what it's been great and and there's nothing wrong with talking about it right I mean, for, for whatever reason it's something that people don't like talking about like the alopecia piece of it like people try to hide it or not talk about it shoot i was like i'm just i'm, I'm what am i gonna do like i'm gonna walk around with it and People are gonna ask me what it is. I'm gonna say, yeah, I, this is what it is. And there's, you know what? There's thousands and thousands of people that are dealing with it too. And with this platform, you can actually kind of, you can help people by just talking about that and saying, hey, I have it too, and I'm not ashamed of it, right? Like it's, it's the cards I was dealt. That's what I got. Right. Oh well, like you know, like you deal with it. And and it's and it's really sad for for I think it's harder for girls for sure. And guys can kind of get, get with it and a little bit more, but. Um, hair club kind of, you know, they knew that I had that. Um, they do a lot of great things with kids too, with alopecia and, 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 and giving them hair systems that, that you can help with that. Cause kids are, kids are mean, you know, sometimes. So, uh, you know, to help, you know, with kids confidence and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I mean, and, and just typical, you know, male pattern balding is, that's part of, part of life for a lot of people. And it doesn't mean you, you can't do anything about it.